guys, so I'm here with another empties for you and surprisingly I accumulated a lot of empties quicker than I normally do. Usually it takes me a really long time because I don't generally finish products because I always find some. But I think that I've actually been trying to make it a point to use out the products that I have because I have so many products. Like I'm a major product junkie and um, yeah, I just, I need to use up some stuff because I'm just collecting way too many things. So. These are the items that I have finished using recently and I'll just go through them and kind of give you guys a little mini review um, on the products. So the first one is the Seabooth um, 4-in-1 Multi-Action Vanilla Butter Body Lotion. Obviously this is a huge uh, container of lotion and I got this from, I'm just trying to get the bag before. Okay, I got this from um, Bed Bath & Beyond and it's free of parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, and petroleum. Um, I liked it. It had a nice, it had like a sweet scent. It obviously lasted me for a really, really long time. I've had this for months. I don't even remember when I bought it. I've had it so long. Um, but yeah, I liked it. It was about like, I think like $10, but I mean for this much you get... 32 full ounces so that's a lot for this much I think it was worth it and I would repurchase it um because it was a good moisturizer it wasn't as thick as I thought it would be because it says vanilla body butter body lotion and of course you know body butters are generally very thick but I guess it's a butter body lotion so I guess it's supposed to be like a mix between the two um but this is a multi-action body moisturizer helps exfoliate hydrate nourish and firm the classic fragrance of vanilla delights the senses is nourishing shea, skin invigorating, invigorating caffeine and hydrating, cold and not return skin to baby soft state. Um, as far as exfoliating, hydrating, nourishing, firming, I don't think that I noticed any of those things. Um, it did keep me moisturized. Next I have this Suave Naturals Creamy Almond and Verbena Moisturizing Body Wash enriched with almond and verbena extracts. I absolutely love this body wash. I just like bought this on a whim. I needed a body wash and I was in a rush and I just like ran into Walgreens, picked up the first one I saw. I love the smell. I can't even really describe the scent. It's definitely like, of course, a fruitier type of scent, um, even though I don't, well, I guess there's flowers on here. I don't know what verbena is. I'm assuming that it's this flower that's on here that I've never heard of, but I have since repurchased this. As you can see, I use it like there's absolutely nothing left in here. I use it all. But it's just such a good scent. I've never smelled anything that smells quite like this. And I think that's the verbena. But I love it and it's super inexpensive. I wanna say it was like less than $3, if like no more than $3, somewhere around there. Super cheap. Got it at Walgreens. And yeah, I love it. Next I have this uh, Herbal Mint Shampoo for oily and normal hair, 365 every day value. I got this at um, Whole Foods. I bought this back when I had braids um, and this is really cheap too. This is like, I think this is like $3, no more than five, but I think less than five. It looks like $3. It's nothing amazing. I definitely feel that tingle in my hair. It, it definitely shampoos your hair well. But after my braids, I just use this as like a pre-shampoo treatment. I always shampoo my hair um, first with with some type of treatment or a minty type of shampoo. Because back when I had relaxed hair, I felt like my scalp always used to get really dry. So I would always use some type of treatment shampoo before my regular shampoo. And even though my scalp doesn't get dry anymore, I just, I'm so in the habit of doing that. Like I'm used to doing that. So if you do have... Um, dry scalp or you just want like that extra clean I would definitely get something that either says that it's like a pre shampoo treatment or just something with like tea tree um, or mint in it. This is also from Whole Foods. This is the Avalon Organics Medicated Anti-Dandruff Conditioner Itch and Flake Therapy. It has 2% salicylic acid treatment for soft flake free healthy hair. This is biodegradable. Um, this too I bought for the same purpose but normally I do a shampoo and I think that when I went I couldn't find any like 
pre-shampoo treatment so I was like oh well, let me try this conditioner and I thought maybe it would kind of like help with the moisture and softness of my hair I did like it um I would repurchase it if I was looking for something like this again um but I've just since tried something different that I found um but I like it so if you're looking for a treatment conditioner they have the shampoo as well so you can get the shampoo and conditioner um, if you're looking for something to help with dandruff or dry scalp um, this one is really good Vaseline total moisture cocoa radiant deep conditioning cream for healthy glowing skin by Vaseline I've been using this for years I've mentioned it before I think in like a favorites or empties or something but I just use this on my feet um, I just like to use a different moisturizer for my feet something that's like thicker and more nourishing and I always always use this one um for some reason now I think I mentioned before I can only find it at Bed Bath & Beyond I don't know why other stores um at least where I live stop carrying it but I love 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 this it smells good it smells like cocoa butter it's very rich and thick and creamy you can use this for all over your body too and they also have like the spray version of this or like the regular lotion version next I have this pink um, fresh and clean body mist from Victoria's Secret. I have like a tiny bit left, not much, but this is my absolute favorite scent. I don't wear perfume just because I think I'm kind of allergic to perfumes or like the scent of perfumes normally make me like kind of nauseous and give me a headache and make my stomach hurt because they're just too strong. But I find that all the body mist from Victoria's Secret, which I've been using for years, um, I love the way they smell. Not all of them, but the ones that I choose. I love the way they smell, but the only thing is that they um, they don't last very long because they're not perfumes. But this one just has a very, I mean, it's fresh and clean. Like, that's the perfect name for it because it is a very just, like, fresh and clean scent. So I would love it if I could find a perfume like that. I do have um, the clean brand of, I guess, perfumes from Sephora that I really do like, but... If you guys have any recommendations for a perfume that um, has like a very light, fresh, clean scent, but that isn't going to like wear off super quick like a body mist, um, is going to last throughout the day, then please let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to know if there's like a perfume out there that I can not actually wear that's not going to make me feel sick and give me a headache. I've mentioned this before. This is the Apogee Curlific Texture Treatment. Um, Improves elasticity, repairs damage, curls, coils, and waves. I've been using this since the beginning of my transitioning. Um, basically, I use this in conjunction with a regular deep conditioner. And I just basically put this all over the... I mean, I put it all over my hair, but especially the new growth sections of my hair. Because this just, like I said, brings that elasticity to it. It just makes sure that the transitioning hair stays healthy. It, you know, works with your curls to make sure your curls come out as best as they possibly can. And I love it. I've repurchased it. I don't even know how many times. Every time I run out, I always get it again. Definitely try this line if you're transitioning, if you're natural, um, if your hair is curly, whatever. This is really good. And there's a whole line. There's like other stuff that goes along with it. Here's another mask that I also have. is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask. Um, this is for dry, damaged hair, heal, grow, and strengthen. This was fine. I think that this is the second time I've purchased this. Um, not because it's anything like super amazing. I think it was like on sale or something. That's why I got it. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't think it did anything like so amazing that I'm like, oh my God, you have to try it. With Shea Moisture, I've mentioned before, it's kind of like hit or miss for me. I do love, love, love the um, Manuka Honey and Marula Oil, or is it Marula Oil and Manuka Honey? I think it's Marula Oil and Manuka Honey. I love that line. That's like the first Shea Moisture line that I actually really, really love that works great for my hair and that I totally recommend. Um, so I have that deep conditioner that I'm using now in conjunction with this and I really, really love it. I got a lot of stuff in here. Um, next I have this Hydrotherma Naturals Follicle Mist. I did repurchase this. Um, recently during like the Black Friday sale and I do love this I can use this it's you can use it to detangle your hair it balances the moisture and the protein in your hair um, it's supposed to help encourage length retention prevents breakage and shedding contains multiple extracts and amino acids 
no mineral oil, paraben free, pH balance, petroleum free. This is the only thing I've tried from the line. I haven't tried anything else from the line, but I really do like this. Like I mentioned, I did repurchase it and I like to spray this on my hair, you know, either at night just to kind of give it that extra moisture um, before I go to bed. Or if I'm restyling my hair, um, I'll use this and it's really light. You know, you can put it on your hair every single day, your scalp, throughout your hair. Um, and it's not going to leave oily residue because it is so light, but it's going to moisturize your hair and just make it feel really, really soft. The Apogee Keratin 2-Minute Reconstructor. This adds strength and softens in one step, quick and effective against heat and chemical damage. And this also... Um, it's supposed to take out like the mineral that might be in your water, like in your shower, the hard water minerals that might be in there. This helps with that. Um, yeah, I love this. I will be repurchasing this. Again, I just finished it, so I plan on repurchasing it. And it just is like a weekly, I mean, it says to use a weekly to your hair. Um, feels like it's super healthy again. But I just use this um, once a week when I shampoo my hair, and it just makes it feel really, really soft. Um, yeah, I mean, it says, it says it's a blend of keratin, amino acids, botanical oils, vitamins, restores elasticity and softens to, and softness to dry, brittle hair. In minutes, it penetrates and repairs damage caused by chemical services, styling and heat. Even bleached, permed or relaxed hair feels healthy again. As I mentioned, it helps displace mineral deposits from swimming pools and hard water. It's recommended to use this every week. You just put some in your hair after you shampoo, leave it on for a few minutes, and then you rinse it out. And you can definitely feel a difference in your hair. <clears throat> Next, I've mentioned this before too, this is the Tom's Wicked Fresh Mouthwash, um, Cool Mountain Mint. Uh, this is just the mouthwash that I use. And I use this one because it's a little bit more natural than your other mouthwashes. Only thing I don't like is that it comes in such a small size so you have to repurchase it quite frequently. But I guess it's worth it because it doesn't have all that bad stuff in it that a lot of mouthwashes do have. Next, I have this Crest 3D White Luxe Toothpaste um, Lustria Shine. It's supposed to whiten your teeth in one week and shine your smile in a day but I don't think that's true I just use it anyway even though I don't really see a major difference but yeah and the other toothpaste I have is the Tom's sensitive soothing mint so maximum strength so basically I have really sensitive teeth so I can't use something like this all the time because it just leaves my teeth really sensitive so I would use this in the morning and then this at night and I used to just use always use like a sensitive teeth toothpaste um, but I wanted to try this out so I figured if I did one in the morning this protect my teeth throughout the day and did this at night that I'd be fine so and I did I have repurchased this several times but this past time I did it only because I feel like my mouth doesn't just it doesn't feel as like fresh and minty as it would with a regular toothpaste so I just went back to like my Sensodyne but if you are in the in the market for like a natural toothpaste um, I would definitely try the Tom's brand out and they have I mean they don't just have sensitive teeth they have all different kinds but yeah try out the Tom's because it's all natural and it's good for you better than all those other ones but it just after using it for so long I'm just like okay like I like that minty fresh feeling and I just I don't get that with this one a few more things in here and then I'm almost done so next I have just some Yehova oil um I use this in my pre-poo oil treatment and obviously I read not obviously but yes I repurchased it because I always put it in my hair and this can you can use it for your hair your skin your face everything I only use it for my hair I heard it is good for your skin and for acne but I haven't tried it yet I'm kind of scared because I my skin is actually starting to act right after tripping for so long um, but yeah Yehova oil is really good for your hair next I have Jamaican black castor oil which is also really good for your hair and I use it in my oil treatment as well definitely repurchase it. I have repurchased it and I will continue repurchasing it. Next I have this Ite um, Nutrient Herbal Scalp Replenisher. Promotes a healthy scalp and minimizes dandruff 
enriched with rosemary and sage for natural, relaxed, and color treated hair. I think I've mentioned these Ite products before. I don't think I did a full review on the whole line, which I do have. Um, but basically, it's a salon in Philly, and the owner has her own hair line, hair care line, um, with all natural stuff. And if you guys look on the Instagram, it's E T A E. I'll put a link below to the site. The results of the hair, you guys, is like amazing. But basically, this was just like it's basically like an apple cider vinegar mixed with other oils, so it reduces dandruff, soothes scalp, controls itchiness, and you spray it on your hair while your deep conditioner is in. And it just helps with all those things, dandruff, soothe your scalp, and controls itchiness. And I like it. The only reason I haven't repurchased it is because I can only get it online. Um, I don't remember how much it is, but I just, because like, okay, I tried apple cider vinegar before I used this in my hair, like before I discovered this. And I always like it made my hair really dry and brittle and I just didn't like it. So I purchased this not knowing it had apple cider vinegar in it. But it did and when it told me to use it with uh, the conditioner in my hair I did and the results were way better. So after this ran out I just um, I just started using my own apple cider vinegar mix with the conditioner in my hair and that has worked just fine. So I mean at some point I probably will try to repurchase this but for now I just haven't because the apple cider vinegar has been working fine. Only problem I have with this is that after a couple uses the nozzle stopped working so I'd have to pour it into another bottle every time I used it. Ooh, something's in my eye. Yeah I'd have to pour this into another bottle every time I used it. But other than that I mean it could have just been this bottle I'm sure. Um, but yeah this is really good. If you don't feel like making your own mixture or you just want to try out a good scalp treatment that's going to really just cleanse your scalp and make it really healthy, I would try this one. I have this Jane Carter Solution Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. It's for detangling and protecting hair from heat styling in the sun. This is like a fave of mine, a holy grail. I have backup and then another backup because um, I got some on sale. But if you are looking for a leave-in conditioner, a detangler, a heat protect protectant. Um, if you're looking for something with all those in one, or if you're looking for just one of those and you get the benefits of the other things as well, I would definitely use this. It's all natural, of course. And I've been using this since the beginning of my transitioning journey and I love it and I'll keep using it because it really just does all those things that I mentioned. It really detangles my hair, it moisturizes it, it nourishes it, it protects from the heat even though I'm not using heat but when I do I make sure to use this and it's it's great I love it and I, you can get it at Sally's at Target at Ulta you can get it online on her website but it's really good next I just have this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara I've purchased this several times I'm wearing it today with another mascara too but I just always come back to this um there's well, no, not very few, but these. this is one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. Next, I have this Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. Um, yeah, I mean, this has been out for a long time, you guys. I'm sure I've heard of this. just has a tiny little spoolie that's just perfect to get your bottom lashes. It's about $10, which is, I guess it's kind of pricey for a little mascara, for a mascara. Mascara? Mascara at all, but um, it's worth it. It doesn't run. It's tiny, you know, so you can get those precise areas. And I have repurchased it and I will continue to repurchase it. Is it necessary? No, because I have something else that I use um, that works just as well. But if you just want a super tiny mascara wand, like if you have a problem getting your bottom lashes without getting the mascara on your face, I would recommend trying this out. And the last thing I have is this MAC Mineralize Concealer. So, I have a question for you guys because this is like my, one of my favorite concealers, but I have like, I want to say I have like this much left, see? That's a lot, but the wand doesn't reach down there. So, I don't know if you guys have any suggestions, I think this is like a hard plastic, but do you guys have any suggestions on how to get the rest of that out? Because I did buy another one um, because I couldn't use this one anymore, but to have this much left, like that's a lot of concealer left like that's a good amount. that's a good amount so if you guys have any suggestions on how um i can get that out of here because i don't think cutting it trying to cut it i don't know if that's gonna work or what i'm gonna cut it with because this is pretty tough plastic but i do want to get the rest of that out like 
I haven't thrown it away because I'm like, dang, like I just want to get the rest of that concealer out so I can use it. So yeah, leave it in the comment box below if you guys have any suggestions on how to get the rest of this concealer out. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned, uh, let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Follow me on Instagram at All My Loves too. I'm also on Pinterest at All My Loves too, um, and several other sites which I'll leave below. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day.